Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And today I want to show you a cool way in which you can activate particles based on, you know, just painting whatever you want to activate them. So let's go ahead and create a paint color. And I'm just going to drop a color as well. So let's just make our grid black. And then we are going to paint. Um, and let's see. Make this a little bigger. And. And if we hit enter here, you are going to be able to paint. So let's just do, say, for example, a happy face. And I'm going to drop down a VOP. I just want that. I just want to change the color in an easy way here with a ramp. So I'm just going to grab the color that we want and I'll put the color again here. And then outside, we're going to do a black to a red. Now what we want to do is scatter some points on our sphere, on our grid. So here you would scatter whatever amount of points that you want. And then we're going to do an attribute transfer and transfer the red to here so that we have whatever we paint here on our points. I'm only going to do it on the color. And now we're going to drop down a pop network. On our pop network, we're going to say all the points, turn the grid off, and we're going to emit um, before only on the first two frames. Okay. Now we're going to drop a wrangle. Actually, a pop force. Okay. Pop force and in our pop force we're going to use a vex expression we go up here on the amplitude we know it's called amp so we're going to say amp is equal to one multiplied oh actually let's do it like this if at cd.r is less than 0.1 meaning if the if the red is less than a 0.1 we're gonna say amp is equal to 10 okay let's see if this works and that gives us that's definitely activating them so it's activating the particles that are red And, and you can do this value here, whatever you want, you know, something a little less intense. Um, and we can also um, increase the size of this uh, amplitude. And you can get effects like that. And we can randomize it a little more by adding a pop drag. And saying air resist is equal to fit zero one rand at pt num, and we're gonna do point one to a one air resist. Okay, so that's gonna give us a bit more randomization per each of the particles. And this is a, a quick and easy way that you can control uh, and activate the particles that you want. Alright guys, I hope you like this quick tip and uh, I'll be back with more.